तो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल आई होप यू गाइज आर डूइंग ग्रेट एंड टू डेज वीडियो वी आर गोन टॉक अबाउट हाउ यू कैन रिग दिस क्यूट गर्ल यूजिंग दी ब्लेंडर ऑटो रिग प्रोवाइड ऑन दैट्स वेरी ईजी एंड कोल्ड ट्रिक सो आई थोड़ा आई शूड शेयर विद यू गाइज एंड आई विल ऑल्सो टेल अबाउट सम की फीचर्स हाउ यू कैन यूज दिस एड ऑन एंड विच मेजर थिंग्स यू नीड टू बी वेरी स्पेसिफाई लाइक वेर यू हैव टू एड द पॉइंट एंड वाई यू नीड टू एड दिस पॉइंट ऑन these centers where they have already mentioned basically so we'll talk about each and everything so make sure you watch this tutorial till end so first of all guys here you can see this is the character which is i have downloaded from the cg trader i will put the link into the description you can download from there that is free for all okay so if you want to do practice along with me so you can just do it and uh, first of all you need a blender auto uh, rig pro add on which is you can download from the blender market all right so i will just press the n on my keyboard and so here we have a rp like auto rig pro add on so i'm just going to like click on it and here you can see this is the add on look like so we don't need to like uh, use all those uh, function we have to just click on this auto rig pro smart option what we have to do for that so first of all guys you need to like define all the body parts same like here you can see you will also get all the parts with name so that's great by the way because while using this add on we need all those part name uh, something like that you can just select all those part as per the requirement of this add on basically so first of all we'll just select everything something like that and then we will just hit this get generated select and after that it will ask for us first of all like full body on facial only so we need both but first of all we'll do full body we'll just hit okay and here you can see it is look something like that now what we have to do basically it will like ask for adding some pointer according to their names so it is asking for like add neck so we'll just add the neck so i will just click on it and hit the add neck something like that okay which is looking nice by the way then it is asking for the chin so i will just add the chin here which is look also good then it will ask for the shoulder so these are our shoulders basically yeah then it will ask for wrist so i'm just going to add the wrist here which is look awesome it is asking also spine so i'm just going to put it some somewhere here and and last but not least it will ask for the ankle so i'm just going to put it here so now here you can see we have place all the pointer according to the add on wants basically but here is the point and here is the trick which is we need to very specific so first of all i will just go to my top view and here i will see all the pointer should be in their right place if they are not then place it manually something like that here you can see we have to select everything and just place it into the center yeah now it's look fine then i'll just go to my right view and i'll just place my chin to the chin place something like that yeah which is look nice and our uh, wrist also in the center like i will select this and move it little bit and same the ankle also should be here now here you can see everything is look good to go all right so make sure whenever you just add the pointer after that make sure just check from the each and every angle then you have to just click the add facial all right so you have to just click this add facial so it will like automatically generate this view for you so first of all we have to just add all those uh, marker according to their name so i'm just going to like my material preview view so first of all i'm just going to move this part move it and keep it here by the way this is kind of chick part yeah move it here i'm just going to select my eyes and i'm just going to move it i will just do control l for selecting the whole loop and i'm just going to move it and keep it here and we have to just place some pointer on the edge of this eye something like that yeah now it is look fine by the way here you can see look awesome all right again we have to place this nose pointer to the nose section here and we have to just little bit down also these eyebrows should be into their place something like that move it here to here here to here here to here and here to here as well yeah it's look awesome now we'll just here is the mouth i'm just going to move it here i'm just going to scale it something like that and i'll just place the pointer 
something like that it just look nice by the way yeah and then i'm just gonna move this chin part a little bit downside yes and these are for the ears basically but right now we don't have ears so we'll just place accordingly something like that it is basically for ears which is are uh, not visible right now okay if you want to move it you can just move it little bit inside and keep it here yeah look awesome okay guys so now here you can see everything is look good to go now here you can see we have some settings which is we have to like complete it first of all it is asking for the eyeball object we have a two like we have a left eye also left eye you have to see the left eye we have a left eye this is the left eye and this is the right eye so this is the right eye yes then we have a tongue as well so i'm just gonna search the tongue yes so this is the tongue we'll select the teeth we have a both teeth upper teeth and like we can see jaw no we have teeth like this is the upper teeth and lower we'll just select the teeth tooth basically this is the lower tooth all right now here you can see we have select each and everything and this is the ear basically we have to move it here to here yeah now everything is looking good now after doing all those settings we have to just click hit ok and we also need to pay attention all those settings and i'm just going to talk about it each and everything like this is the finger how much finger you needed sometime we have a character who don't have a five finger so we can mention from here so that i don't will create the amateur like bones according to these uh, data basically and also if we need a like spine count more than four so we can do it also and also one more thing we have to do it i will just go to my back end and i'll just move this spine count a little bit upside yeah all right and apart from that uh, again it is uh, asking from the neck count so i'll have to do only one uh, bone and also on the arm leg twist count and need only one all right so everything is good to go now what i'm going to do basically i'm just going to hit okay and when i just hit the okay it will create and analyze the whole body pointers which is we have already added and then it will create a amateur bone structure for the whole body just wait a second now here you can see guys it is perfectly create the whole bone structure for us and which is look nice by the way now here you can see i'm just gonna exit from the edit mode and it is look something like that which is super awesome perfect now what i will do basically first of all we need to do some settings like we need to just move uh, these uh, bones little bit close because these are the what we can say uh, fk bones will also should be sent and uh, yeah apart from that everything is looking good for me so i'm not uh, doing anything and uh, we can move these bone little bit up also yeah something like that awesome okay guys so you know here you can see everything is looking good to go now what i will do basically i will select whole body something like that and then i'm just going to my skin section so right now we did only the bone setup now we will just like uh, connect all bone with the skin so we need to go for the skin section and here we have like everything okay so first of all what we have to do we have to select whole body then we have to select our bone something like that and after that here we have some uh, like what we can say binding settings so here you can see we have a heat map voxelize and voxel heat diffuse skinning add-on as well so that add-on i have installed separately you will not get with this add-on uh, with this add-on basically i have separately download this and it is good for doing uh, like uh, weight painting part if you are using this voxel heat skinning add-on so you don't need to do manual weight painting with your uh, body basically it is working very nicely but right now i will use the default heat map which is also good by the way and apart from that we don't need to change anything we have to just click the scale fit option also what is does exactly basically it is doing like if we accidentally scale any part and that scale is not 
mark up to the requirement of this uh, this uh, add on basically so it is like automatically fix the scale issue also apart from that you don't need to do anything just make sure the selection should be first you have to select the whole body then you have to select this bone like something like that so last active selection should be your bone then you have to just click the bind option and it will take little bit time according to your model so sometime it is showing like click match to rig before the binding so what we have to do one more thing we have to do before doing that what we need to do basically when we have done everything so we have to just click the match to rig as well and now what is does the match to rig basically it is creating the controller of each and every bones so we don't need to like move the separate bone uh, manually so if i'll just gonna hit this and i will just click the match to rig so now here you can see it will create a all controllers now here you can see these are awesome by the way love to do controller work okay after that now what you have to do you have to just exit from the pose mode then select everything then you have to select the bone these controller basically and that is newly generated then you have to again go to the scanning part and okay and all setting you have to do same which is we have already told you then you have to just click the bind option and when you just click the bind option it will ask sometime in these option basically you have to just hit okay why it is asking sometime some vertices are open and everything is open so it is like telling us to like fixing everything so i'm just gonna click okay and now here you can see it will take little bit time and it is also depend on your mesh of your character and the complexity of your collector as well so it is taking time according to that so don't do not worry about it it will uh, like finish within 30 seconds yeah so now here you can 18.2 seconds it is take for binding now we will check it is work it is working or not basically so for that what i will do i'm just going to select my controller and i'll just press the control tab either we can also do the pose mode so when I just go to the pose mode, I will just try to move my hand and let's see how it's looking by the way. I'll just press the G and now here you can see guys, it is looking awesome by the way. See how cool it is by the way, we can just move this. Oh my God, that's awesome. We'll also try to move his, uh, her basically, not his, her leg. Yeah, it is bending perfectly. Her skirt is also moving very nicely and it is done. Let's see the FK bone. Wow nice so now guys here you can see how cool it is by the way let me open her mouth wow nice so now here you can see there are some weight painting issues which is you can see here this is totally the weight painting issue we need to fix it manually otherwise you have to use this add-on which is we have to install separately which is i have already told you so and uh, otherwise you have to do manually the weight painting and you have to just remove the weight which is that bone is giving to them also all right and let's move the eye let's see yeah eyes is moving wow very perfectly very perfectly nice guys here you can see wow so now here you can see guys that girl is totally uh, what we can say rigged nice nice wow working perfect working perfect awesome i am literally it is killing it i like it all right so here you can see guys this is how we can use the auto rig pro add-on and this is how we can rig a whole a professional rig using this add-on which is awesome by the way now there is one issue which is i'm also gonna like address here the issue behind is we need to do manual weight painting which is little bit painful process but still once you have done you need to give some time with your model and after that your model gonna like rig like a pro okay but if you don't want to do like weight painting manually then you can use this add-on this is definitely help a lot and okay if you want then let me know in the comment section i'll definitely make the video on it also so all right guys so that's it for this tutorial i hope you learned something new today and if you learn i know definitely you have learned so please hit the like button the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries or if you have the session please let me know in the comment box i'll definitely reply comment so bye bye take and stay home guys and love you all